We are back tonight with continuing coverage of the fight against childhood obesity. As we first told you yesterday, the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending earlier, more aggressive action in forms of medication and surgery. This all comes as area doctors say one in five Cleveland children are suffering from obesity. News 5's Brent Caswell tells us how diabetes medicine is helping with weight loss and why one gym is working to deter kids from getting to that point. Obesity is an epidemic for children across the U.S. That's why the American Academy of Pediatrics now recommends more aggressive treatments younger. I think these guidelines were long overdue. One of those treatments being medication for teens 12 and older and surgery for 13 years old and up. What they do is they're targeting our insulin production and our body's response to insulin. And they also help again with hunger and satiety or feelings of fullness. So burpee is real simple. You go down, come up. Head trainer at Little Giants Gym, Michael Blue, says the statistic oh. that one in five on, Cleveland children is fighting obesity must change. Now kids have gotten to a place where like they're so technology driven that they rather not do the things that make them uncomfortable. They rather sweat in the video game than sweat in real life. Here at Little Giant, they encourage kids to lose weight the more natural way by doing things like boxing, cardio, dance, and even lifting weights. Come on, get in plank position, let's go. There is a difference between actually actively physically participating in something and sitting down on the sideline and moving your thumbs. The AAP guidelines reveal behavioral and lifestyle treatment as young as six years old is equally as important as aggressive treatment options. I think that we kind of got to be careful when the first thing that we say is let's throw them on these, this medication. Sometimes we'll have kids do drills where they're coming through the cones. Blue trains kids as young as five years old. Keep working, keep working. And says above all, fighting obesity stems from a place of love. So I think once we establish something from the beginning, they have a lifelong tool that they can use to not only add health and value to their lives, but help other people too. Reporting in Euclid, Bryn Caswell, News 5. So the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending weight loss drugs for children with obesity ages 12 and older, which is about 14 and a half million kids right in our country. Here's how the AAP measures obesity. Your body mass index is calculated using height and weight. A child above the 95th percentile for BMI in their age group would be diagnosed with obesity. If their BMI is 20% higher than that 90, 95th percentile cutoff, they'd be diagnosed with severe obesity. The authors of these new guidelines say there are some specific drugs that could help with this. Orlistat blocks some of those fat, some of the fat that you eat from being absorbed by the body. Semaglutide is an injected diabetes drug that has been repurposed for weight loss. And metformin is an old diabetes drug which has been shown to achieve weight loss in children. And Rob Courtney, for older kids ages 16 and up, the FDA is also approving Fentermin, which is an appetite suppressant, guys. So important right now, all of that stuff for health and everything, that's great. A lot of new guidelines there, too. Mm -hmm. Lon, thank you.